But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and the sacrifices as much as in the obeying of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. 1 Samuel 15, 22. We welcome you to this special episode of The Summons. And The Summons is a program designed to offer you an opportunity to connect with and also to receive from God. On The Summons, we say we are called to discipleship. My name is Benjamin Oferado, and I'm going to be your host for this particular episode of The Summons. Going straight into our business for today, we we'll want to start with our first set of ministrations, and it's going to be rendered by Lordina the Soprano and the Summoners. And they begin with the song, Trust and Obey. Oh, 
Welcome back from that commercial break. We want to go straight into God's word now. And our minister for today is not one who is not unknown to us. Indeed, he's been one who has been very, very instrumental in the current style of contemporary Christian music as we presently have it. He's one who has been a banker. He has been a musician. And he is now a minister of the word of God. He is the leader of the Neokai Ministries. Of course, by now you know who our preacher is. He goes by the name Minister Ni Okai, and he will be speaking on the theme, Obedience, Unlocking God's Power. 
Let's go for God's word. Hello and welcome to the Summons. My name is Pastor Neil Kain and I fellowship with the International House of Virtue, the I Church. Today I want to share a brief reflection on the theme, Obedience, Unlocking God's Power. And I've added another theme to it, Trust and Obey. Because of the popular hymn, When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey. And he goes on to say, trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Can we share a word of prayer? Lord, I pray that may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our God and our Redeemer. Amen. Okay, I want to take my text from Psalm 25. You know, David wrote a beautiful psalm in Psalm 25 and a few of the verses. Let me begin with the first two that says, In you, Lord, my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. We find that David's prayer in Psalm 25 reveals both the struggles and the convictions of a worshiper in this challenging world. He acknowledges the safety in knowing the Lord and yet dreads the effect sin has on the believer. The believer's authority is therefore derived from a life of trust and obedience to the Lord and his word. We have power, we have no power of our own, sorry. So we need to remain rooted in Christ in order to be victorious. This humbling truth is echoed in the famous hymn that says, Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. So you realize that as believers, we have a treasure, but that treasure is only unlocked when we walk in obedience. Okay? We come to faith by grace. And yet when we come to faith, the Lord expects us to obey Him. I heard a preacher once say, God's primary love language is obedience. And I tend to agree with him. Everybody has a love language. But for God, it's for those who obey him. So David summarizes beautifully in this Psalm 25 when he said, The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him. And he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on you, or I wait for you. So this this episode, I want you to know that all you need to do is to trust and obey him. Because God's words never fall to the ground. Whatever he says he will do, that is what he will do. Just believe, just trust, and I assure you, you'll be happy in Jesus. If you've been blessed by this, make sure you continue watching the summons and share this with others so that they will also trust and obey God and live a very joyful life. God bless you and see you another time. Cheers. JP Fuel Delivery Services. We bring the right quality and quantity of fuel to your doorstep for your gensets and power plants. JP delivers premium Supremo high value GAD 3000 additivated diesel via a 24 7 responsive online ordering service backed by prompt and reliable delivery. Our well trained staff adhere to best practices, observing all EHSQ protocols as per NPA and GSA supply guidelines. GSA certified flow meters on our trucks guarantee our nozzles deliver the right quantities at the most competitive rates. JP trucks are designed to meet UL3 emission standards. Quality fuel and consistent supply on demand.
visit app.jpghana.com. Call JP now on 055-272-9099. JP, earn more, burn less. Thank you, Minister Neokai, for that word of God as you did render. We want to go to our last batch of ministrations um, in song by Lordina the Soprano together with the Summoners. And for this batch of renditions, it's going to be started with her own composition entitled Dingpa. Let's relax and be blessed.
I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in a lie, 
that you are unable to help me but no And show yourself strong And in my eyes And with my song Oh Lord, be magnified Oh Lord, be magnified Be magnified Thank you so much, Lordina, the soprano, together with the Summoners for those beautiful renditions as you have presented to us. Um, we want to say a special thank you to all of you who made time to watch this particular episode of the Summons, and a special thanks to um, our sponsors of the show and all those who have advertised on the show. For you who want to advertise or sponsor the show, you can contact the production team on the various contact details provided at the bottom of your screen. Indeed, it is the summons and it is a call to worship. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel Lordina the Soprano on YouTube. Also remember to click that notification button and hit on the bell to ensure that you get all notifications every time 
the content is uploaded on the channel. My name is Benjamin Ofeado. And until same time, when we meet next time, remember this. What the Lord cannot do does not exist. However, obedience unlocks the various doors to God's promises. Have a wonderful time.